Darren, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Tell us a little bit about the uh, about this gents that you're here with. Okay, so this is a Jensen Interceptor R Supercharge, based on an original Jensen Interceptor from the 1970s, but fully re-engineered with, with independent suspension at the back, a modern V8 with a supercharger, 650 horsepower, a reliable, efficient, usable, everyday classic, uh, like a modern car in old clothes. Perfect, modern car in old clothes. That's the great thing about a lot of the uh, sort of restorations throughout the rest of mod cars of these days is taking what uh, what people love of the old days and making the technology fully up to up to date. Exactly, uh, and and it's a, a growing market. We see more and more of these sort of cars on the market. We've been doing this for some ten years now, so we're fairly early adopters of the concept. But uh, they are very successful cars, and if you see one of these on the road, it's almost certainly going to be an R. Brilliant, thank you. And I'm just realising I'm getting too old to keep bending down into these cars these days. Thanks, Darren. Now coming on behind it, from a, a quiet Jensen, uh, sorry, a noisy Jensen, to a very quiet Mustang. This chap will get out of the way, it'll be a great help for me. This is the electric Mustang by London-based Charge Cars. This is an incredible car. It's a 67 Mustang, essentially, with a steel body, built under licence by Ford. Um, 536 brake horsepower, 1,500 newton metres of torque, and 0 to 60 in an electrifying 3.9 seconds. They're only making 499 of these cars. It's had its global debut here this morning. Um, you can go and see the configurator over by Genesis. Basically, this is a tailor-made car, so you make it as you want it. That's the EV from Charge Cars. Victoria. Coming up next, something a little bit different. Still a Mustang, but this is a Mustang by CS, by Clive Sutton. And I knew Luke was going to do that. This is the CS 850R. Bespoke built. I think the Mustang that comes from um, North America has about 455 brake horsepower. So Clive adds a little bit of uh, a bit of juice to this and creates something unique. The CS 850R. Luke, welcome to Salon Privé. This is our CS 850R. 849 brake horsepower. Thanks to the R edition of the rear differential. And this can do 0 to 60 in three and a half seconds. Uh, on top of the power upgrades, we've also done a lot of work to the exhaust, which we can do now. And then a huge amount of work has gone on the exterior of the car, so it's full of the replacement and, uh, and then the equipment of the car is fully retrieved as well. Thank you very much. Next coming up, we have the Chimera 037. A great friend of ours from Italy, Luca Betti. And Luca is a guy who, he basically rallies cars. He's an Italian rally champion. He races offshore powerboats around Dubai. The guy does everything I would love to be doing. He grew up with these cars. It was a dream of his to create something as he has done. This is the, the 037 Cup Camera. 2.4 litre supercharged and turbocharged engine. Only 37 of the feet made. I think Luke has already sold 34 of them. 420 brake horsepower, but in race mode it rises to 505 litre in what you call a small ceremony. As I said, all the Italian clients need to tell me, thank you, Luca. Coming up now, another car that had its global launch this morning is the Healy by Caton. Um, this is an all-new British luxury brand. Part, it's a luxury brand that's part of the Invisage group. Invisage are a, a formidable engineering business up in Coventry. They've been around for many years. Um, 10, 25 units being made, 
3 litre, 185 brake horsepower, technology, craftsmanship, all wrapped into one. Very good to have you here. Very good to have you. Now coming up behind, coming up behind now, a brand that needs little introduction. If these guys will please move out of the way. Watch it. <laughs> guys, please out of the way so I can get the cars through. This is the Lamborghini Aventador. a chance to see it again that is the Lamborghini Aventador Aventador Ultimate this is basically the swan song of the 6.5 litre B12 Lamborghini engines before they go electric. hybrid and electric in due course coming down now is the Aston Martin DBO, DB, DBX 707 this car had its UK launch here this morning here with Aston Martin London this is the most powerful SUV currently in the market. 707 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in just 3.3 seconds. Beautifully built, launched today. Good morning. Good afternoon, yes, so this is 707. We will see the most powerful, luxurious SUV currently available. And available now is really obviously through Aston Martin Maker. Well, that's the only dealer in town. The only one in town, for sure. Now we have the, the Genesis GVE. 60. This is the first Genesis with a dedicated EV chassis. This was launched, this car had its European launch this morning. You'll see the guys, the mobile lounge over on the left hand side, being driven by Andrew with a pincher in the passenger seat. Thank you very much. You, 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 you please have all these cars here today? Very much indeed. I mean, this is, this is where I've been born. On your, on your, in your front, in your, on your front lawn. On my front lawn, wherever else. Absolutely. <laughs> Andrew, let me pass you on. Tell us a little bit about this car. This is the GV60. This is the GV60, the first uh, of our electric vehicles and devices. Uh, we've got three more, two more joining the, uh, the stable this year. Uh, we've got the electric and we've also got the electric and the so this is part of our EV revolution and I'm going to be with the first, our first car to be the sixth one, which is three versions uh, as well. And, and this is the sport of the car, so really exciting to drive into this electric car, really exciting. More than one, it's very exciting. Well, thank you. Yes, it is, yes, yes, dual motor. Smoke as well, so, uh, so yes, but I won't. I promise, I promise not to do any wheels, okay? Or any, any wheels, I promise, okay? Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. 490 brake horsepower. This car's got electric cars these days have got crazy numbers in terms of power, speed, and driving one well, myself. Um, they are great, great fun to drive. Next up now we have from HRO Ferrari, we have the fantastic 296 GTB. So we'll all remember the 206, the 246, 286, 2.4 V6, this is the 2.9 V6. This is the first road car with rear, Ferrari road with rear wheel drive and PHEV. Plug in electric vehicle. Hi James, tell us a little bit about this. 
Uh, as you just said, this is a 296 TV. It's a 2.9 6-cylinder plug-in hybrid. Um, you can do a range of 25 kilometers in complete silence, or you can turn that off and uh, you'll find the electric and V6 twin turbo drive for 830 brake horsepower uh, to be good. Sold in the car. It's going to be the most fun to drive the car ever. If you see any of the reviews, they have all been given five star reviews, literally amongst the press in the same world. So it's available. You can order a car up for the Kepe. We're looking at quarter four next year. And the recently launched Spider, we'll be looking at quarter one, quarter two, 2024. So as always with Ferrari, you've got to uh, get your order in early because there's always a bit of a wait. So I do apologise about that, but. We've also got the Made Roma, yeah, over on our stand, and also the Daytona, which is uh, the second of the Icona series, which um, is a phenomenal car, 599 units worldwide, but unfortunately, in typical Ferrari fashion, all sold out. So, thank you very much. Thanks, James. Beautiful 296. You are free to go, the beautiful 296 GTB. Available by HR Owen Ferrari. This, this is a car that does what it says on the tin. This is fun to drive. This is the Alpine, the 110S. This is the latest version, just launched this morning, the dynamic version. Rear wheel drive, mid engine, nearly 300 brake horsepower. Amazing fun to drive. Seb, your turn on the mic. Morning everybody, so here we can have our new A110X which was launched at the start of this year. Um, 300 horsepower as David mentioned, 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds with a 1.8 4 cylinder engine. The special specialty of an Alpine is the fact that this light and nimble, just under 1100 kilos with an even weight. It's very fun to drive at low and high speeds. Thanks for looking, we're over on the right hand side, do anyone want to come and take more information about the Alpine? Thank you David. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Beautiful far orange colour as well. <laughs> Next, we have the Arati. You'll see this car. This car's been getting a lot of media publicity. Since there he is in the driver's seat since Justin launched his car. Beautiful 964, electric Porsche 964. Justin, welcome to San Fever. You've been away in uh, a barn, I think, recently. Yeah, I have a idea. How are you? Love to see you. You too, you too. It's fabulous to see you guys here. Uh, get up close to this one. How's, how's everything going with it? Really, really well, thank you. Yeah, we've just uh, announced the buildings in California now in the uh, same facility as Singer, if you'll be familiar with Singer. So, yeah, really good. And uh, I think the California audience of this car is, is going to be very interesting. So, yeah, exciting times. And um, you've also got a, I think you've got a pagoda on there and also uh, an old uh, classic defender as well. Right, yeah, so we've got our, our um, basically the, the Pagoda is, is launching later this year, um, and indeed the Land Rover Series, which is a late 60s car, uh, perfect for the pub run or indeed the beach. So yeah, really, really good fun. Best of both worlds, then. Thanks a lot, Justin. Cheers, thank you too. If they're going to stop. We have the Maserati MC20, the 3 litre, 630 brake horsepower Maserati. This is the spiritual successor to the famed Maserati MC12. Guys, welcome to Salon Privé. Yo, good, tell us a little bit about this, about the MC20. How are things going with this one? First off, it's fine. Doing really well for us. Application is limited, but we're loving it. It's good at the moment. Well, some are available still through uh, through Maserati, uh, HRO Maserati, of course. Definitely. We're in South Kensington. This is our bonus player, so please come down. Perfect. Oh, Thanks ever so much. Cheers. The beautiful MC20.
now we have Overfinch. Those of you that are my age or thereabouts will remember the Overfinches of the early 80s where they used to take the classic Range Rover, the two-door here, put a great big American GM V8 in it to replace the 3.5 litre V8 from, uh, from Rover. This is Overfinch's heritage, new, new heritage division. So this is basically the two-door classic with the 6.2 litre V8 GM in, in it. Tell us a little bit more about, about the interior and everything else about this car. This thing you just don't buy Overfinch, um, the, as I say, by you know, LS3 engine in the front, completely redone interior. Um, it's absolutely stunning, it really is. The LS3, the, the GM engine, is the one that was, a, well, the LS1, I think, was the original, was it? I believe so. This is an LS3. We might be converting it to the LT1 very soon, uh, but the LS3 is a stunning engine as it is, so it's perfectly good at start. Bulletproof, dare I say. Yes. <laughs> and absolutely beautifully made inside. This is what Overfinch do. It's all tailor-made, all numbered, and beautiful addition. This is, the, I think, the 1990 classic. Correct, this is the 1990 uh, two-door coupe, it's the rest of the model by and finish, and it's absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. So here we have Morgan, great friends of ours, clients of ours for a long time, another very proud Red coated gentleman in the car. Good afternoon, sir. You enjoy yourself. Great to have this in your front lawn, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, not happy to go. How are you doing? This is the. I was expecting the Speed 3, which was launched this morning. This is the Useful Plus 6. So, Morgan now used the BMW engine. This, I think, is the 3 litre twin turbo, 335 brake horse. Um, just beautifully, beautifully made. These cars haven't changed really much from, from when they were, when they started to be made, what, 1909-ish? Pickersley Lane Mall, where I've been to many times. Um, Morgan, Morgan Motor Company, Morgan uh, London Works are the new dealership here in London. Um, you can go and see the guys over on the stand there. Uh, as I say, they're, there with the, they're here with the plus six, with the plus four, with the Speed 3, the Super 3, sorry Max, you stood there prime, the Super 3, yes, yeah. so uh, so how beautiful is this, the, the, the Plus 6, the Morgan Plus 6, thank you guys. Next we have McLaren, uh, again, long-standing clients of ours. This is McLaren London here with the 720S. This is a 720 brake horsepower, four litre. These cars do crazy speeds. This will hit 60 in under three seconds. Lauren, how are you doing? You brought the sunshine. Okay, that's the plan. <laughs> so you're here with the 720S, the Altura, and the GT. So, yeah, absolutely, so three models um, over in the McLaren London stand. That's right. Alright, well, thank you very much. Beautiful, beautiful McLaren, guys. 720S Spider. I think that concludes the automotive parade today, guys. As you can see around you, we have everything here from helicopters to boats. Those of you that would like to buy a Reva, speak tonight. We have various luxury brands here, motorcycles with Harley Davidson with Wars, MB Augusta London, Crazy Horse with the Indian motorcycles. Going along the other side, Isabel Christensen, if you'd like some couture, Roger Dubuis here, our launch showing their mono balancing watch today. It's the first time it's been shown since June.